Welcome back to Little and Rose. My name is Summer Noel, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to do a glitter acrylic tumbler with a tassel on the lid. We're using an 18 ounce skinny tumbler. The, you can find these on our Amazon shopping list. And what's important about this cup that I like that to add these tassels is that the lid has a small lip. And that is what you'll see is most important for adding this tassel. We'll first start by filling up our tumbler. We are going to be using Diaval and Murphy from our glitter collection. We also have a simple glue stick and our Little Ian Rose UV resin. So first we're gonna take our Drill Master hand tool. I'm gonna to use that to drill my holes in the bottom. What you wanna do is avoid going too fast when you drill the hole. You can drill through and actually puncture through the inner layer and you don't wanna do that. So you to go nice and steady and nice and slow as you're drilling your holes. I drill two holes. One hole is going to be the exhaust hole and one hole is going to be the hole where we put the glitter and the liquid in. And this is going to be our smaller hole. The other side we're going to make to be about the width of the glue stick and this is going to be the side that we add the glitter through. And then you just every once in a while give it a test to see how much you got to go for that glue stick to fit. That's gonna be probably perfect. So now there's a little bit of the plastic stuck in there. So we're just gonna tap until we get it all out. All right, so now we're gonna do uh, is add our glitter. All right, so now we're gonna bring in our silicone mixing cup. I'm gonna do this as a glycerin mix. You can do multiple different things. Some people use contact solutions. Some people use clear Elmer's glue mixed with water. I like the glycerin. You can also do just plain water. It just depends on what kind of flow you want. I have this little tiny funnel, or you can use a pipette. You're gonna just squeeze it up like a turkey baster. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, is let that water run off, is we're gonna take it and we're gonna tap it. And that's gonna start letting all, releasing all the air that might be trapped inside with that glitter and getting any bubbles out. Cause we want as little air in here as we can do. Um, I like just a tiny, tiny little air bubble, just enough to get the glitter moving. For this step, next step, we're gonna take our hot glue gun and we're gonna cut off just a little bit. This is what we're gonna use for the plug. And we are gonna go and stick that down in there. Once we know we've got it in there, you can take a small cuticle trimmer. It's this weird looking tool and you can just shave it down just a little bit so it's a little bit more flat to the surface. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat because we're gonna heat it up and flatten it out more, but we want to just get anything extra off. We're gonna take our heat gun and we're gonna heat up that hot glue. Okay, then we're gonna make sure the surface is really nice and dry. And now is when we're gonna work on our, with our UV resin. We're gonna have our UV light ready to go. This is a watt, 120 watt lamp. I am going to go ahead and put a dot of UV resin right over that hole. And then I'm immediately gonna go ahead and put my light on it. And that's gonna cure it immediately and plug that hole. So we're gonna let this sit for 90 seconds and then we'll step on to the next procedure. So the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little bit of UV resin for the bottom to completely cover up this bottom part. And we're gonna put a little bit of our UV glitter in there. That's gonna kind of mask the two plugs. Then I'm gonna take my silicone stir stick and I'm just gonna gently work that UV resin and just push it to the end, but not over the end, making sure to completely cover the plug. So now we're gonna go ahead and Make sure it's level and we're gonna put our UV light over the top and let it do a full round of curing. All right, so I'm gonna take just a little bit of rubbing alcohol to make sure that the surface is nice and clean. If there's any stickiness, this will also get rid of any kind of tacky or stickiness. You can also put it out in the sunlight for a while and that will also help cure your UV resin and get rid of the tackiness. And what I also do when I do these tumblers and I use the UV resin is I put it upside down this way. So I'm gonna do the second round of curing facing up and we will be right back. All right, so now you can see we've got our bottom nice and covered. Our glitter is all mixed up in there. We've got a tiny little bubble that helps the glitter move around. And you can see the suspension is absolutely beautiful with the um, half glycerin, and half water mixture. So now this cup would be ready for your decal or you could just leave it as is. 